If only there were some way that this could have been avoided. Wait, I have an idea. Bills don't just appear out of nowhere. They are made through ideas that the people of the U.S. come up with. So, of course, the first step to a bill becoming a law is the creation of the bill, or in other words, the inception. Because I almost died when walking on the cracked road earlier, I want to make a law that will fix the issue. So I make a bill that says, all roads should be paved. Then I take the bill and yeet it over to my state congressman, in this case, Richard Neal. He is then able to read the bill and hopefully take it with him to Congress. Yes. So you may be wondering, where does the bill end up after this? Well, the answer is simple. The House. After a congressman gets access to a bill, he takes it to one of two places, the House or the Senate. The process can start in either one, but let's just say that our congressman brings it to the House. So the bill is introduced by the Speaker of the House and assigned to a subcommittee. This is where the committee work begins. The subcommittees that are assigned the bill go through with their studies and hearings on the bill. These hearings allow viewpoints from other sources about said bill to be heard, like the executive branch. But what most people may not know is that the bill just doesn't go right to the floor for debate. It goes to this one special place called the... Very funny, it's called the Rules Committee, not the Ruler Committee. After the subcommittees do their thing, the bill is given to the Rules Committee of the House. This is the group that sets the standards for the debate, and basically checks to see if the bill is rational or not. After this, floor action is taken. The people of the House debate the bill, and then a vote is taken. Okay, that's all of them. Let's see how the House voted. <clears throat> Alright, looks to me like four yeses and two noes. Looks like a majority of the House want paved roads too. Since the bill was passed in the House, it moves on to the other chamber of Congress. Wow, a cow made of leather. My girls are leather. In fact, the first sentence Caroline ever said was, I like butter. Bruh. This Senate. Well, there's not too much else to say here. Other than a few differences, the entire process is the same. The bill is introduced to the Senate by a senator or by placing it on the presiding officer's desk, and it's given to the subcommittees for their hearings. Although, the Senate doesn't have a rules committee like the House does. The subcommittees are allowed to propose changes to the bill, though. Then the bill is taken to the floor for debate, and voting is held afterward. Okay, time for another counting. <sighs> well, I'm stuck in the hopper. But hey, looks like we have four yeses and two noes again. The country is now one step closer to paved roads. So I was originally going to film myself in a conference room, you know, to introduce the conference committee, but I didn't really have time, so, uh, yeah, that works. So what if the Senate makes a change to the bill that the House isn't a fan of? That's what the conference committee is for. This certain committee is made of members of both the House and the Senate, who usually meet in private. Their job is to iron out the differences between the two versions of the bills, in order to come to a compromise. Okay, not like that. After a compromise is met, all of Congress takes a vote on the bill, House and Senate. If a majority support the final version of the bill, then it is sent to the President to be signed into law. Okay, the votes have already been counted, so let's see if America's getting paved roads. Hey. Mr. President? Are you there, sir? Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell do you want? Sir, I have the, we have this bill for you. It's going to become a law. Are you okay, Mr. President? Sign this bill, please. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sir, I think that's enough. You've signed it like 10 times already. China. God bless America. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second, bud. 
You may think that this is the end, you know, the president signs the bill and all is well. But what if he doesn't? That is called a veto. You know, veto. If a bill is vetoed, it returns to Congress to be voted on again. If there's a two-thirds vote in both the House and the Senate, the bill becomes a law regardless of what the president says. It's also worth mentioning that the federal courts can review laws to see if they agree with the Constitution. If a court finds a law unconstitutional, it can be struck down still. And that, my friends, is the whole process of how a bill becomes a law. From within your mind, no one else can find the life that you inspire. From another place, not from outer space, from some place even higher. Ramazan.